My name's Kenneth Delahunt. Um, I'm a turkey researcher for SIU. My research is involving eastern wild turkeys. Basically, most research is done on areas that have greater than 50% of the study site is covered with timber, for either upland timber, bottomland timber, you know, oak hickory, uh, hardwood stand forest, um, because that was what back in the day was considered to be turkey habitat and prime turkey habitat. Um, just like the reason why back in 1958, 1950s, when they first started the reintroduction of eastern wild turkeys, they introduced them primarily into Shawnee because Shawnee was the largest tract of you know continuous forest in Illinois. Where would be the best place to reintroduce wild turkeys? You know, southern Illinois and these big timber stands. The people who started that was the IDNR. Um, they hired a guy named Jim Garver. He headed up the the reintroduction of eastern wild turkeys. Um, tur Illinois always had turkeys. They just went not extinct. They're extirpated. Extincts when a species totally dies off and there's no more extirpated is when they've been, you know, removed from an area. And they're basically removed from Illinois from poaching and, um, you know, converting land over to agriculture and stuff and kind of fragmenting their habitat and more people killing them off. Um, the last turkey was thought to be poached in Clinton County in 1913. They introduced uh, mostly eastern wild turkeys from Arkansas, to Arkansas, Mississippi, West Virginia, and some from Pennsylvania. Um, the reason they introduced turkeys from other states, so they're wild bred, and they found that if they captured wild turkeys and reintroduced them, they always had more success. So once they reintroduced them, they had five sites in southern Illinois and the Shawnee, they reintroduced turkeys. Um, they're all successful, and then over the years, you know, starting in the 70s and stuff, turkey populations were booming down here in southern Illinois. We had enough turkeys that they started trapping turkeys out of Illinois itself and reintroducing throughout the rest of the state. There's a total of 270 release sites throughout Illinois, and today, um, 98 out of, in 96 and 98 of the 102 counties in Illinois um, have healthy turkey populations and huntable turkey populations where turkey hunting is permitted. Uh, we have the study site, which is Burning Star 5. Um, it's a good study site because it's kind of closed off from the public for the most part. So we bait turkeys in the winter. Um, when they come to the sites, we use what's called rocket nets, or were once called cannon nets. They're basically pipe bombs with holes at one end that uh, we attach to a net that's uh, probably 30 yards long or so and shoots out 15 to 20 yards. And the turkeys come to the line of bait, which would be a bait line laying in front of the net, and we hit a charge. But we'll weigh them. We'll take some measurements off the toms, like for beard lengths, spur lengths of the hens. We may, basically we just age them and take their body weight. I'll start to put a transmitter on there, which is a VHF transmitter. These transmitters emit a signal that's a one beep per second signal, so it's just a beep, beep, beep. We tie them all with a harness that goes around their wings, so they have a little, basically a little transmitter backpack that carry, turkeys carry. Once the turkeys are released, um, I do daily tracking of the birds um, to find out just their general location. Um, and this is just to plug into a mapping system called GIS and this will later on once this project's done I upload all these points into a mapping program and it basically has every single point laid out for me and shows like their overall home range they used uh, what type of habitats they were using and I can go back and do analysis of each one of those points and areas and you know find out the exact habitat they're selecting for by season um, so I'll know what they use in the winter versus what they use in the summer versus what they're using in the fall and spring future of eastern wild turkeys in southern Illinois are continuing to grow. Um, predators are kind of at a more high now versus it was in the past when they first reintroduced them because back then in the 50s and 70s trappers still got a good good amount of money for pelts uh, and coats so more people trap coyotes and coons. Raccoons are number one predator of turkey, turkey eggs. Uh, coyotes are right up there too. So turkeys really don't have great nest success but they're still still growing in population. Um, due to good habitat management.